to October's Drinks with Darren. We are at Spice 72 on the corner of 72nd Avenue and Scott Road on the Surrey side. Spice 72 has been around for about a year and a half and I have heard absolutely nothing but amazing things about this place. So not only today are we going to try one of the local drinks they have on tap here, we're also going to try a little bit of the food and I will be reporting back to you guys to let you know what it's like. So while we wait for our drinks to arrive, why don't we get into a little bit about what's going on in the industry. The biggest thing that I wanted to bring to you guys today is a little bit about what's been in the news lately regarding a report that came out by Royal LePage. This report said that condos were absolutely surging up about 17.6% and the detached homes had taken a big bath and the prices had come down incredibly. And what I wanted to do is get the point across again that it's so easy for the media to pick and choose certain things from certain reports to sell newspapers, to get you to tune into the news. And that this is exactly what they've done with this Royal LePage report. So let's go into the report a little bit more in detail. Condos being up 17.6%, this is a metro Vancouver number. Now Metro Vancouver covers from Bowen Island, Lions Bay, North Vancouver, all that stuff all the way down over to Maple Ridge and the Langley Township. That's a pretty big area to cover. Now has every condo done that in that area? No, of course not. That's an average. There's got to be a high, there's got to be a low. So what is really happening in the specific areas? Well that's a good question. The other number the media chose to pick on was West Vancouver homes down 10%. West Vancouver homes guys, we're talking about a home with an average price of about 3.8 million down to about 3.4 million. I know for many of you on this video, as well as myself included, I'm not worried about those prices because I am never going to have a house like that, or I hope to at least one day. But a West Vancouver house really doesn't give us a true reflection of what's really happening in the market. Here's a better example. The Fraser Valley Real Estate Board that covers Mission all the way to North Delta. The average home in the Fraser Valley, guess what it did? It actually went up in the last year by about 11.9%. So how easy is it for the media to try and sell that there's negative happening in the market when that's really not the true case? They've just gone to pick and choose what they think is going to get the most eyes on their product. It's very easy to do this with statistics and reports that are put out there. So you need to be very sure that you're paying attention to those numbers and don't take everything for face value. But we are going to be trying the Signature Caesar to begin with at Spice 72. I'm pretty excited about this one. See, this is where we are. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Thanks. Cheers. Okay, here we go. So what is a little bit different about this Caesar is they use rock salt in their mix to give it a little more of a punch. They want you to feel the flavor a little bit differently. It's not made with celery. They've got a sweet pepper. They've got an olive. They've got a green bean. And apparently these are one of the most popular drinks that people come in for. So let's give it a taste. Who drinks Caesars with a straw though? Come on. It's good. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get into the latest stats now, and we're gonna start with, as always, apartments. So what are apartments doing? In the last month, apartments are up a staggering 2.55%, but hold on, let me tell you what they've done in three months. Ready? 10%, isn't that incredible? Apartments are still performing incredibly well. Uh, there's a few reasons I believe this to be happening. One is, of course, uh, everything else has gotten very expensive and difficult for other people to attain, so the entry-level first-time buyer type product is still performing incredibly well. Townhomes. All right, so townhomes in the last month. Oh, thank you. That's great. That looks really good. Thank you. Show you what I've ordered here. So these are called Sev Puris. Uh, they're a galapi ball filled with potatoes, chickpeas, onions, topped with plain yogurt and chutney. They are unbelievable. I have never had anything like that ever. And they look pretty good. And I'll tell you, they taste amazing. This has this crunchy, kind of fresh, um, like smooth and uh, silky taste to it. It's just incredible, all the textures and flavors that go together in it. Um, definitely try this if, you, if you're able to come here and visit. Sorry, those were so good looking that I couldn't help myself. But let's talk to homes. Townhomes in the last month are up about 1.4% in the Fraser Valley. Well, pretty good increase out there. In the last three months though, almost 7%. Isn't that incredible? People are looking for space and it's still a relatively affordable option and the buyers are out there looking for townhomes. Last but not least, we have detached homes. Now, detached homes are the laggard of the three. In the last three months, the values of detached homes in the Fraser Valley are up about 4.2%. 
Now, in the last month, however, they've stayed relatively flat and have even seen a slight decrease. There has been some information out there that with the prices of detached homes not accelerating at the pace they used to, and with townhomes and condominiums performing like they are, if you're considering about upgrading to some more space into a detached home, it might be the perfect storm to really consider that. As always, we've got micro markets. You've heard me say this a million times. What is a micro market? Well, different areas are performing differently. So if you take a house in Langley, is that doing the same thing as a house in South Surrey? Absolutely not, of course. So we want to make sure that when you're looking for information, you're getting the best possible information for your own scenario. So shoot us an email. Let us know what we can do to help support you with your decision, and we will get you the information that's particular to your own type of home. Thanks for joining me on the latest episode of Drinks with Darren. Now, join me next month where we interview a local mortgage professional where they're going to let us know how the changes that are expected to come out towards the end of this month, what they're going to do and how they're going to affect you as a consumer. There's some big things coming down the pipeline. I want to make sure you guys are as educated as possible. So if you have any questions for that mortgage broker, send them over. And in the meantime, let me know what you think about these Drinks with Darren episodes. I want to know what I could do differently. If you're enjoying the information, what other stuff can I give you? What else can I tell you? What else is going to be of value to you? I want to make sure you're getting all the information that you need so I can help to protect you and your investment. I want to be the realtor that you choose to come to whenever you need advice. Thanks for joining me. Have an awesome Halloween. Stay safe out there, and we'll talk to you guys next month.